and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how i fix eyes when uh, i import uh, uh, from obj files uh, sometimes we need to fix eyes when people use a, a wrapper outside of uh, like a third party wrapper they remove the eyes so they uh, have a clean mesh a non-manifold mesh right so uh, we will i will show you immediately uh, how it looks i'm gonna use this example from uh, one of uh, my users and uh, as you can see he removed the eyes and uh, I related stuff from the mesh right so I'm gonna show you uh, the morphed file and as you can see he removed it in morphed uh, file as well so we want to apply this to uh, our face right so let's create a morph target we will name it beast Don't forget to always set smooth iterations to zero. And uh, let's uh, see how it looks. Uh, let's decrease a little bit the, the camera speed and also set a lower uh, FOV because we will uh, uh, we, we need to zoom in, right? So. This is how it looks. It, it doesn't look uh, very good because the eyes were missing from the files, but our uh, skeletal mesh had uh, the eyes. It's a problem, right? So this is uh, how we're gonna fix it. Uh, we will add a new morph target and we will call it whatever. In my case, I select test for all this uh, stuff and uh, I'm gonna open the test morph target. And here, uh, it's an empty morph target. It doesn't contain anything and I can see exactly the mesh, right? I will select uh, the eyes, uh, everything related to eyes, right? Because I want to create a selection from this. And uh, we're gonna select uh, everything that's uh, eye related. And we're also gonna draw around it. But first let's turn on, uh, make sure you have symmetry because uh, we want to have a selection that uh, contains both eyes right so uh, let's uh, toggle a uh, mask selection and now you can see uh, the mask selection is enabled and we can select mask uh, vertices right uh, now if uh, we uh, draw on the mesh uh, new vertices will be added to the current uh, uh, selection right so this is how it works and I want to create a selection right we will use this to restore the eyes to their initial uh, step, uh, uh, shape, right? Took me a while. And I can save this by going to Edit, Selection, Save Selection As, and I'm gonna call it Ettore Eyes, right? And now that we have the eyes uh, saved, uh, let's open uh, our morph target. And we can uh, open our uh, saved selection. Press OK. And this is how it's going to look. And then now we want to restore the eyes and uh, try to fit them back in well, with our uh, uh, beast uh, morph target, right? So let me. Uh, what uh, tool? Well, we're going to use restore, right? We're going to increase. Uh, the brush size probably not this much but it's fine and uh, we are gonna hide uh, what is not selected we want only to see the eyes right and I'm gonna go to visibility and hide unselect and now I can see exactly how it goes right I think the, uh, they're fine now we restored them okay and uh, now we want to reposition them right and i'm going to select transform tool the gizmo is down here hold shift and drag it up so you can uh, reposition the gizmo so it's uh, gonna be easier to to see what we're doing right and uh, now that uh, we have the gizmo in our uh, 
uh, first time here we can uh, uh, what we want to so let's hide uh, the wireframe so we can see exactly what we're doing and we're gonna drag them back here right maybe a little bit up this is uh, up to you how uh, you're doing it this is how I usually do it it's easier to have a working example even if uh, the eyes uh, were messed up you know and uh, yeah it's easier to handle it right and uh, probably way much more in front of uh, here we'll see we'll see right and now we're gonna select the smooth uh, tool because we want to smooth a lot and uh, let's take let's decrease uh, let's first select only the head shader uh, on my section because we will only modify this we don't want to touch uh, any uh, mesh section uh, related to eyes right and uh, we're gonna hide the wireframe we will decrease uh, this uh, brush size and we're gonna decrease the strength we don't want to have a very powerful impact at first, right? Maybe if you press uh, the brackets, you can uh, resize uh, the brush size and uh, you can uh, select the step size from uh, here. So it's a very cool stuff. Don't forget to use it. I'm going to decrease it a little bit more and I'm going to start smoothing around, right? Because we need to fix this. We have only the header uh, head, uh, section selected so we won't touch everything rela uh, related to the eyes so we're safe there and uh, we need to get a little bit in here right I'm gonna decrease a little bit the brush so I can see exactly what I'm doing and uh, I think we have to smooth this area kind of a lot here right okay maybe a little bit more this is up to you I'm not very efficient with the uh, with the sculpting but uh, I'm pretty sure you are so it's really up to you how to do it and uh, I think this is it, right? Looks a little bit ugly, but I think for our uh, video it's gonna be enough. Probably let's increase a little bit this and maybe increase the size a little bit, the strength, not the size, right? Okay, we will, we will shape it a little bit better here. It was too much, right? And uh, yeah, I think we need to smooth a little bit more here, right? We need to to fix it a little bit here, and here as well. I'm going to de uh, decrease uh, the strength a little bit more. Okay. And uh, probably a little bit more. We want a very, very low impact around here. We don't want to break anything, right? And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go for this. Invest much more time than me and uh, it's going to look a little bit better, right? And I'm going to save it. Uh, you can, after you save it, you can export it again to OBJ and uh, finish uh, the sculpting in a software that uh, you are much more comfortable with. So 
uh, keep that in mind. And uh, now that uh, we saved uh, the morph target, doesn't look that good, but it doesn't look bad. Uh, let's open it and you will see that everything is uh, not working correctly because the morph targets are, uh, the morph target is uh, very, very, uh, is, is not ma matching uh, the skeleton at all, right? So we, were, we want to fix this for this video as well, but now we fixed it in, in a lot of other videos, so, but we will do it here as well, right? Let's test it again. I think, yeah, I like it. So uh, now well, what I want to do is uh, go to create from pose and I'm going to select the morph target to bone snapshot. Save a bone snapshot, this. Select the bone snapshot. It's going to take a little bit. And this is uh, the bone, snaps uh, bone snapshot loaded. We can hide the bones. Just go to file. Uh, to edit settings. And. Uh, try to decrease the size as much as possible. Okay. We can do even better if uh, we go to control points. We can, uh, I think we can do this even small here. And uh, the select draw full bones. So we only have the markings if you want them, or if you don't want at all, just the select draw bones, right? So let's uh, forward now that uh, we've uh, uh, created the bone snapshot. Uh, let's create a morph target and we will call it this skeleton. Okay. Now that we have the beast uh, skeleton created, we want to export it to OBJ, beast skeleton. And we will export this one again because we just modified it, so we need it clean, right? Beast. Save. And now we can go ahead and bake this. So we can bake the uh, bone snapshot we just created, right? Just bake it. Okay, uh, our morph target was created. And uh, now let's move forward. We have uh, uh, the new shape of our skeletal mesh and we have to fix it, right? Doesn't look very good. And uh, we go to create from uh, files and select our exported, uh, which, uh, the, uh, the OBJ files we just exported. This skeleton is our base file because it matches our skeleton uh, mesh, right? Our current state. And we will select uh, the beast OBJ, which is uh, what we want it to look like, right? So uh, let's uh, create a to bake morph target. So just, uh, we just identify it easily and uh, press create. It's gonna take a little bit. Okay. And go back to the main window. Open bake window. And enable uh, the, the morph target to bake, right? This is what we're gonna bake. The eyes looks good. I think it's fine. Any additional fine tuning, you can always create a new morph target, bake it or keep it as a morph target. Uh, it's up to you. 
Okay, baking uh, is uh, finished and uh, let's see it in action. This is uh, uh, our uh, final mesh, our uh, its current state, right? Let's see how it works. The eyes work correctly. It works everything as intended, as you can see. These are glitches from the wrapping the, the skeletal mesh uh, that uh, the OBJ files that were sent to me and uh, they can easily be fixed. And uh, yeah, guys, this is it. I hope uh, uh, you learned how to fix the eyes. Uh, you can uh, do the same for the teeth if uh, uh, they don't uh, match. You can do uh, everything uh, inside of Mesh Morpher, every fixing uh, you require. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, this helps you guys and uh, see you around. Bye. -bye.